Hey guys, welcome to the main screaming advice. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe for new videos every single week. Today it's another top box opening, so it's another surprise opening. I'm, uh, I've been leaving these ones to one side, I just haven't had the chance to open them, so I have no idea what's in here at all. It's part of my regular subscription. If you're not aware, top box does a slightly curated um, uh, subscription service, £24 every other month, so it's, you, you basically get one of these every other month, so it evens out across as £12 a month. Uh, so, I even hold it up the right way. Let's find out what's in it. Try not to drop it all over the place. So, you open up the box, standard sort of thing for the, drop, for the top box, all neatly packaged in. You get your cover sheet, which explains, gives you an overview of the products and what the full prices of them are, which is, can sometimes be an eye opener. Face scrub made with repurposed, repurposed coffee browns citrus blend. Physical scrubs on the face, not a fan. I tend to avoid them, and I have done for years, but um, it can depend on what the sort of scrub is. Um, I have had scrubs where um, I might have used them just on my um, shave area, um, once a week or something. Uh, now, being that it's coffee and citrus oils, I'm expecting it to be dark brown. It looks about as coffee ground meal as you can possibly get. Really, really strong coffee and very, very noticeable granules, quite, quite scratchy granules. Now the oil in here gives it a nice smooth bed, but there is that definite scrubbiness. I will try this out um, for things like underneath my neck area and my shave areas. I will try it once or twice on my face to see what I, what I feel like. Because it may be, I mean at the moment, those grounds are still there. Now I was hoping that those grounds would just like, sort of, just break down, like almost like if you have a rice, uh, rice bran sort of uh, scrub, it breaks down. But this is, this still feels rough and scrubby. And personally, I would not expect to like this on my face. So I will try it, obviously I'll try it. It's not like these are free, I've paid for this myself. So I'll give this a try and let you guys know on um, Instagram whether I like it or not at the moment. I am expecting to hate it. We have the organic and botanic caffeine and rich shampoo. Being a stimulator of hair growth, the ingredient, hair, the ingredient halts hair loss and attempts to regain hair in the place it was lost. 26 pounds. 26 pounds for a shampoo. I've recently paid 26 pounds for a shampoo uh, because it's my favorite shampoo by Paul Mitchell, uh, but it was a lot more than, a lot bigger than this, complete with a, um, uh, a pump dispenser as well. So it's like a one liter thing, so, you can, so I can keep it inside of the bathroom and just and use it from there. So this would this would have to seriously impress me to think that it'd be worth spending that amount of money on a bottle this size. But we will see. I'll give it a go for a week or two. Pop the results on Instagram and let you guys know. Soap Conscious Charcoal Detox Body Bar. So charcoal detox body bar with rosemary and lime. Plastic free, cruelty free, cruelty free, and vegan. Um, and again, another one from the UK, so thumbs up from me, from me as a Brit. It is, well, it's about as authentically, almost hand, yeah, it's, it doesn't say it's handmade, does it say it's handmade? It doesn't say it's handmade, but it's got that sort of look about it, that, that literally, we've made it in a big tray and some bloke called Keith has just gone along and with a big guillotine and just cut it into, into blocks. Not unpleasantly smelling. Um, I don't use soaps at all. Um, no, that's a lie. I do. I use a a scrubby um, detox type bar uh, on my on the bottom of my feet. That's the only that's the only bar of soap that I that I actually use. Uh, but I'll give it a go and let you know on Instagram. Right, hand cream with shea butter. Secret minerals from the Dead Sea. So hand cream with shea butter for all hand types. Based on a restorative blend of Dead Sea Minerals, the classic body care series is perfect for all skin care needs. Hand cream at the moment, even if you, if you like, 
you know, hand cream, it's just, it's, you know, if you're somebody that thinks that using hand cream is girly, then it's quite possible you wouldn't be watching this channel anyway because you wouldn't be bothered about moisturizers to use. But it may be, and by all means let me know in the comments below, it may be that um, you do moisturize and you, you know, you use, you know, nice shade products or whatever, but the idea of you putting, you know, using hand cream is just a little bit too unmanly for you, possibly. Everybody's washing their hands all the time, or should be. Everybody's using alcohol gel, or should be. Take it from someone who ha um, who's medically trained and uses alcohol gel and has done for years and years, multiple, multiple times during the day before the pandemic, hand cream, you should be using hand cream. Now, even if it's something you've never used before, I would encourage you to get yourself some hand cream. Whether you get something posh, or whether you get something for a couple of quid in your local um, pharmacy, to be honest, a lot of the time it doesn't matter. You don't need to spend a fortune on a hand cream. So the sort of thing you want to look for for hand cream is, you know, obviously it's an emollient, so you want to, you want, you want to keep, it wants to keep the moisture in, it wants to give you suppleness, you want to feel a nice sort of springiness to your skin once you've used it. Uh, no obvious dry patches, try rubbing it a little bit extra onto your, onto your quicks of your fingers while you're doing it on your fingernails. 20 quid for this I think is well over the pro well overpriced. I don't see that there's anything special with it. It says it's got minerals from the Dead Sea. Well, you know, you can you can get a bag of, of mineral sorts um, from your local boots or pharmacy and you can just sprinkle some in your bath when you have a bath and you'll get an awful lot more absorption into your skin than you would do slapping a bit of this onto your hand, but there you go. Hawkins and Brimble Energizing Eye Cream. Hawkins and Brimble, I've been trying a few of their products recently. Uh, I absolutely adore their um, Elemis, Elemai and Ginseng, um, which is, is this about the same as well? Um, doesn't actually say it, no. But the Elemai and Ginseng um, moisturizer, oil control moisturizer. I love that stuff. Quite expensive, smells just divine. I use it a couple of times a day. Um, I, use, uh, I use it first thing in the morning and I do a top up during the day and it keeps me lovely and shine free without being overly dry. And in the evening I just use um, a slightly um, heavier uh, moisturizer as a nighttime moisturizer. So the Hawkins of Brimble from that, I absolutely love. At the moment I am trialing their beard balm, their um, shave cream, um, and what else have I just bought? Uh, their shampoo. So. Right. Uh, contains ginseng to curb puffiness, uh, rhodolia, rosia, roots to promote firmness, not really familiar with that to be honest, uh, vitamin E to prevent damage, yes. uh, dab a little under each eye and leave to dry. So nice easy to use end for, the, for this, comes out of the tube very very easily. Uh, I don't see anything about this that is particularly earth shattering it's you know it's not got retinol in it to to help um, to prevent your wrinkles it hasn't got caffeine in it to, to reduce the puffiness that way um, it's probably a perfectly service of serviceable eye cream which I will of course because I bought, bought for my own money I will of course trial it That's 17 pounds that's a lot of money for an eye cream a lot of money one of the often cited complaints against eye cream from people um, you know very knowledgeable skincare um, uh, content creators will tell you that it's basically it's it's moisturizer but overly priced moisturizer so I can't see anything yet in this that makes it go wow this sounds like a brilliant idea or this is particularly different from any of the other ones that are produced so jury's out on that one I don't like the price but I will try it um, and again pop it on Instagram one thing I might have said this a couple of times in in, in videos and I, I think it's something that needs to be needs to be said and I apologize for going off track a little bit there are content creators um, particularly with the YouTube po um, sorry Instagram post that are constantly posting you know review 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 and yes it's possible to review those many things obviously I've bought hundreds and hundreds of bits of skincare over the years um, but most skincare, not all, but most skincare takes time to work. So, for instance, at the moment I'm trying uh, Matrixol, which is um, uh, the version I'm using is by Revolution Skincare, and that reduces the fine lines and wrinkles, or so the science says. So, I'm trialing it. But, and I've seen people say, oh, yeah, look, this is brilliant. You know, I've been trying this within a few days, I saw results. 
that's BS, I'm going to call it right now. Matrixel, for instance, will take at least six weeks before you start seeing a structural difference or an elasticity difference in your wrinkles uh, and fine lines. So if you see somebody that's like, oh, this, I've used this and this is brilliant, and then tomorrow they're, oh, I've been using this for the week and it's brilliant, and oh, I've used this for a week and it's brilliant. Yeah, it's great that you're getting so many posts out, but sorry, you're not doing it right because you're not actually giving these things time to work. You can use a scrub for a couple of days and go, do you know what, don't like it, fair enough. But for a treatment, for something that's gonna have a medium to longer term benefit, like an eye cream, um, like serums, like retinols, you have to give it time to work. And if somebody tells you that they've tried a, a, a you know, they started using niacinamide and by the end of the week, you know, it was, it was amazing transformation, I would just say just just take it with caution of why they're recommending it or how thorough a test they're really giving you. Anyway, get off the soapbox. Shut up, bear. Get on with it. Um, second from the last, salt of the earth, pure armor, ventivert and citrus, effective natural deodorant roll-on. So 100% natural deodorant. This is something to definitely, the idea of um, natural deodorants is something definitely to, to check out if you're not already using them. Uh, because there is growing concern about the aluminium and other um, contents in traditional um, underarm deodorants. Shape before use, apply to green, clean, dry underarms. Little tip with your underarm deodorant, uh, it's more effective for the following day if you use it the night before. If you put it on the night before and then just a little top up in the morning, fine. But if you actually put your main application of your underarm deodorant, should ideally do it the night before, and it's actually more effective the following day. Not quite sure the science of it, I just know it works. So this one, I'm looking forward to using this one. Um, it's, it's, got a lovely, it's got a lovely, fresh scent to it. It's vegan. It, is, um, it feels really nice and cooling going on. £5.49p. I think that's, that's great, great value. This is... It's 100% natural, is it vegan? Let's see, it is. It's vegan and cruelty free. That one for me is um, it's probably the most, the, from the first impressions, that's the most impressive one in the box for me this, this time round. And the last one is a itty witty witty little sample. So best spoke of London fragrances for men. It's citrus and vetiver, zesty and energizing. Yeah, it's a it's a nice nice scent. The it it does the packaging has pictures of leather shoes, um, uh, leather watch straps, uh, and a phone. So it's kind of looking like it's kind of office based. So I think it works in an office. I also think it's quite fresh. Yeah, you know, I do like that zestiness in it as well. I think it would go well for um, uh, use in the gym as well, um, or you know if you're out doing sporty stuff 10 pounds for 100 mils but that's what you get with top box you don't know what I'm, i don't know what i'm getting i pay my money and it arrives and you guys get to see the result so maybe i'll blown away maybe in a couple of months you'll see on instagram me going my god this is my skin is amazing i've never felt so soft and and women are throwing themselves at the, my feet because my skin is so soft or i i look 10 years younger because my eye bags are gone or or suddenly i've all my hair's growing back and i you know i, I look like one of the Bee Gees. You have to follow me on Instagram, at Men's Grooming Advice, to find out. So guys, that's another opening video. I hope you found it amusing and reasonably useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Um, share with your friends if you, if you can. Um, and if you like what I do, if you like the idea of somebody that's spending their own money and giving you their honest reviews of skincare, um, and you want to support what I do, I'd love you to hit subscribe if you haven't already. I haven't got a Patreon, I don't want any money, but if you'd subscribe, That'll be lovely. It'll be great. More subscriptions mean YouTube um, are likely to um, suggest me in, in search engines more often, which means more people get to see and we get more of a dialogue going. I've been Bear Clark. You've been amazing as always, and I'll see you again real soon.